recording. Oh, YouTubers. What's up? This is what's up. I'm putting a signal light kit on this. Oh, yeah? The problem is with all of this is it's uh, the sander got all the plugs rotted out. Oh, true. So I got I got these put on there waterproof. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tape them up and yeah. So yeah, that's what happens with salters. Oh yeah. Same thing with pickups and stuff. Isn't it? I'm kind of just going around it, and as I see something, I stop and I do it, you know? Yeah. So we have, uh, I got pretty well, it's pretty well all done. I got, I got a harness to put up in the front for it. And uh, all the relays and stuff are put here. The new switch is put in here. The emergency switch is in the dash. I had to pull the steering wheel and stuff out. Pull the dash back. And, uh, it's not, not too bad to do. No. I'm working on the engine, that's why I got all this compartment out here now. I got new belts and stuff put on the belts are falling off it and cracked up. Yeah, one thing. Oh, it's terrible. So and of course I have these these, 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 there's lights there somewhere. It has to be mounted on the dash. There's oh there they are here. That's uh, that's them. So I have to make special mounts for those and more of the house is here. Yeah, so that's a wiring yet. Yeah, we're well, just trying to do it tight. It had a big leak up in the front from the front uh, ply it blade. Oh, that yeah. was just a loose fitting, so I got that. Now this here is where I changed the fuel filter, so there's a bit of fuel on the floor, so I'll get that out now when I get the lights done and continue on. Hey, we got our uh, package, eh? UPS. Yeah, we sure did. Just looking at the blade set up up here. It showed up the next day. <laughs> yeah. The next day. Problem is, they don't tell you anything. You know, like they don't, they don't update your status or anything. It's it, it's it, it's it's all a kerfuffle because yeah. you order it, then they give you a tracking number. Yeah. Then at least point A. Basically, you got two different points to get to before it gets to us. So at least point A, then it goes to point E and at point B and it's signed in. After that, it's never, ever, ever sound, uh, uh, signed out. No. So it ends up leaving and nobody knows it left and it travels, you know, halfway across the country to get to us. The shipper don't even know where it's to no. at the time. We call yesterday morning. Just imagine it was, it was destined for out for delivery yeah. and the shipping company didn't even didn't know. Even know. No. And then to add insult to injury, Amazon sends you three days before it even shows up a survey on how you like your product. Yeah. Now you most think that if Amazon was really, really happy about or really, really, uh, how can I put it, uh, really, really customer oriented, they would have some way of checking first to see if you received it. Yeah. And then right. ask you for the survey? Yeah. You know, it just it's like everybody's putting the, the cart before the horse type thing, right? One hand's not talking to the other. It's terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. Like she's all our stuff, boys. Yeah. She's all our stuff. She's gone? Yeah. Oh she's gone she's gone beyond gone. She's worse than gone. She oh. was she was gone ten years ago, but oh. she's she's beyond gone. Wow. She's yeah. Things are worse than I thought. Oh oh, oh definitely. Oh, this is just critical level now. <laughs> critical level. Anyway, so we got that done. So anyway, last night I take, uh, of course I was supposed to take you somewhere last night. Mm -hmm. And then the biggest mistake I made, I opened the box. That's right. And when I opened the box, I hauled out this big camera. Well, actually there it is there, folks. And it's a prosumer camera. Like it's not a professional but it's, it's a top of the line consumer camera. So anyway, things have changed since we bought this one and this is a really good camera. So Kathy went out to get something. When she came back, I said, I'm gonna tape her. She's gonna be the first victim of this camera. <laughs> so I had it up on my shoulder and she comes in with the van and I tapes it. And well, that's right, it was straight right out of TMZ. <laughs> 
when you well, came down paparazzi yeah. waiting right by the door, wasn't it? I know, you chased me right up to the vehicle. Oh, I'm telling you, yeah. Would you like to make a statement, Mrs. Short? Would you like to make a statement? Yeah. Like, back up, back up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it turns out that, uh, so I uploaded it to the uh, laptop. My son, perfect picture, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm liking that camera. Yeah, yeah. Put. Well, I, the part that I liked until I started thinking about it was the fact it had no sound. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hear you. <laughs> well, it worked for some applications, but not others. No, right? it was just terrible. Couldn't get the sound yeah, on it. No. So I spent like pff, maybe an hour, two hours, I'd say two hours, mm -hmm. trying to figure out why I couldn't get sound on it. So, then, of course, you first thing you do is you ask, you know, Google. Google. People right? tell it. Yeah. So, anyway, there was a lot of posts there on it. Anyway, apparently now with new cameras, there's two types of audio. I, I, maybe you guys, the real techie guys out there will know the difference, but there's linear PCM and then there's Dolby. Now everybody knows Dolby. So anyway, before I had found that, I went in through the uh, menu system of this camera and there's like 18,653 different things on this menu. But I got into the sound and I changed it from linear PCM to Dolby. Mm -hmm. Voila! Had my sound downloaded and everything. And I thought everything was smurfy. Until I went back reading, after I had it figured I had it all done, I went back reading and I figured, then they said, you know, like a lot of the sound engineer says, well, you know, you shouldn't leave it on Dolby. They're talking to other people, of course. Oh, okay. Shouldn't leave it on Dolby because, you know, Dolby compresses it and, you know, you really get a lot, you don't get a lot out of it and for editing and stuff. Of course, now that's all I needed to hear. So now I had to go back to the drawing board and figure out what's wrong that I can't get sound with this video. Mm -hmm. And I can hear it through the speaker on the camera. So I knew it was there, but I just didn't hit me. <laughs> Five o'clock this morning. <laughs> yeah. The two peepers opened, and I said, my Lord, maybe my media player is outdated. Maybe the sound is there and it just can't pick up this new camera. Came out, couldn't find another media player to try. So what I did is I took that clip and I went over and I put it in my editing software. I rendered it. Voila! There was the sound. So the problem was not with the camera. It was not with the computer. It was with the uh, the program that actually just plays like wow. whatever you call it. You know. Wow. So I got that. I got that worked out. Isn't the mind amazing, though? So you were thinking and working on that when you were asleep and didn't even realize. Five o'clock. The two people. Boom. And it hit me. Bang. How many times that happened to me? Lots, I was coming out here yeah. at 2 o'clock in the morning. When you got the answer? Boom. Yeah. Bang. Got to get up and got to get her done. Yeah. Woke up with it, with the yeah, answer. It's incredible. So I'm asleep, yeah. but yet... Problem solving. Problem solving. Didn't realize. Yeah. And then you had the oh, answer yeah. and woke up. Yeah. Yeah. Sure look, sure look at that full week. Sure that I was waking up the next morning. Sure that I, I was totally exhausted. The full week. And you said at the Fridays, well, what do you be dreaming about? You're waking up, you're exhausted all the time. So I'd be dreaming I'm a muffler. <laughs> You're too funny. Okay. Are you going back to work now or what? Yeah, I gotta go back to work. <laughs> but anyway, so well, what I'm gonna do. That might help people solve it. I mean, if they had one too, right into Yeah, it. so if you run into a problem and you don't get any sound on your new cameras, you want to go into your menu. And of course, to some people, it won't matter. If you switch it over to Dolby, you'll have no problems with it. But if you if it's a linear PCM, well. Uh, yeah, good luck to you. Yeah, well, you got. It, yeah, a little it, bit of work to do. Well, you got something outdated, right? Okay. My problem is with updating friggin' stuff is what happened a little while ago. These All these new updates came out. So anyway, I said, well, friggin', I'm going to update it. And the next thing, I couldn't even get on the internet. No. No, everything was So I spent up. about four hours trying to. trying to diagnose why I wasn't getting on the internet. It finds out that I had to take one segment of that program and yep. revert back to the old... Oh. The yeah. old version. Yeah, the newer update couldn't handle getting no. on there. Ah. Yeah, they should be able to do it all when you update, but don't work that smooth. They say food is killing people. They say the environment is killing people with heart attacks. It's crap. Technology is killing us. We're worried to death. We stress out when we lose one channel out of 550 on the, inter on the 
satellite or the whatever. Mm. Too many techie things. Yeah, sort. geez, yeah, it's just driving me nuts. So anyway, we'll take the camera later. I'll have to take you over. You got to get some uh, some stuff over to a special place called Whiteway, Newfoundland. Yeah, and there's a place over there called Shag Rock. So I'm going to try the camera out there and we'll yeah. see what it's looking like. And we'll include it in this footage. That'd be a good test. Bonus. Yeah. Bonus. So, yeah. And of course, this is uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Yeah. Is that today, though? Friday? Is it today? Today's 17, yeah. yeah. So anyway, wow, I hope everybody, <laughs> hope everybody enjoys uh, St. Patrick's Day and I hope they celebrate and have a few cold ones and have a few cold ones on us. Exactly. And it's like the Irish Rovers used to say, may you be halfway to heaven before the devil even knows you did. Perfect. Yeah. With that, we're going to say goodbye and God bless. This is uh, Shag Rock at Whiteway, Newfoundland, Trinity Bay. It's a little bit cold here, 
I don't have this camera on a tripod and it's windy. So just to give you some idea how far out that is, now we're going to pan back and let you see what it's like. Got a ways to go yet. That's it, so it's a good ways out. Like I say, it's still pretty cold here. It's a little community, it's about maybe a half an hour away from Bay Roberts. And this is where Kathy comes to buy her sewing material. Lobster pots. Oh, that's the lens flying by, the lens cap. It's a beautiful place when it's in the summer. Of course, it's beautiful now. It's just a bit rugged looking. And there's houses up along the coast here everywhere. Uh, sorry if you're getting a lot of wind. They even got crows over here, I can hear them. So we got a new tripod coming for this too, something heavy enough to take it, so right now we'll have to put up with this. A bit of shaking is probably where I'm quivering where I'm so cold. A couple of ducks there. More than a couple, there's lots there. There you go, folks. That's it.